the moors to find the two Gloucester meteors at the Moss Summit. And uh, these are way out in the moors from the furthest of me. So uh, I'll share them with you. But uh, that's where we will come to look for me. Because I'm starting quite late in the day, so I'll probably be a bit tired. Time to get back and put my torch on. So I'll be all right. Yeah. Ow, very pretty. Very pretty. Very pretty. Wow. Want to uh, go scouting through the moors? Don't do it directly after the first snowfall. Hug it up. But this is like if the Battle of Sob was fought. Q Far Horizons. It's quite funny. You'd walk along the point. Grouse is the chicken of the moors. We went to the new biome. I call this the Martian part of the moors. With all these little lumpy hills, can get lost. Find it hard to see on the track. But we will find it. I came round here looking for the saber. We're not even halfway yet. Let's keep trekking. I found the halfway point. See it? That about that is. Black Hill Trick Point. It's a halfway point, so we're going. We have found a very rare thing. It's called a path. It's amazing, eh? Nothing for miles around. Absolutely nothing. I've reached a little bridge. Oh, I don't want to drop my phone, otherwise I'm fucked. A little bridge. Red hot chilli peppers comes to mind. Under the bridge. Might play that at the radio tonight, I'll see when I make it back. We've got to somehow cross this. Bugger. Ooh, I was trying to find a good spot, a bit tricky. Gotta get my boots wet. We'll cross. We're leaving the beaten path now in search of the meteors. Oh, modern plains. But we're going off there into the wilderness somewhere. Try and find these two crashed meteor planes. We're out of fucking daylight, but we'll be all right. All right. Here I am at the crash site of the two Gloucester meteors that crashed on on the 12th of April, 1951. Both uh, planes crashed because they descended too early in heavy cloud cover. Uh, they're in formation when they crashed. Both pilots were about to kill. There's a lot of wreckage left. A lot of debris. And it's quite windy, that's why I'm shouting, so I hope you can hear what I'm saying. And the debris quite spread out. There's at least, there's at least four sites. Sorry, four. Where uh, uh, this area is. It was not easy to get to. This is the furthest I've come into the moors 
so far. Uh, I had to cross a river twice, uh, but I found it eventually. Uh, couldn't have done it without the grid reference. Not easy to get to, but an interesting sight nonetheless. A uh, lot of crash sites up here. I'm hoping to find some more, but this is an interesting one. I think that's the, uh, I think that's the part of the jet engine, part of the, uh, uh, like the nozzle, because you can see the, you see the blue, the blue anodizing there, that's, that's heat there. It doesn't look like there was a fire anywhere else, there's no melted aluminium, so I think it just smashed into the motors, but this is probably heat from when the engine was running. Third river crossing of the trip. I'm in a race against the sun and I'm just going straight as a crow flies towards home pots in that time fold and back, back. But we'll uh, jump this river and then keep going. We made it out of Meteor Valley. So I'm calling down there. The wreckage went on for miles. It's like two miles of wreckage. Quite crazy. But. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Uh, there's home moss. Almost back now! Very windy still! One massive valley to cross. Just gotta get down into the uh, the, mo the valley on the other side of Home Moss and then back up the top and the car park's just there. But this is this one last final major obstacle but we'll make it. There we go. Holy moly! Basically a 90% gradient here. Fucking hell. I'd be better off with a parachute than hiking boots. Then we've got to go back up the other side. Fuck. Well, this is the most likely place I am to be killed. So direct the authorities to this location if I do not return. For my corpse. Bloody hell. I thought I spotted gold then for a second. Thought I could see something shimmering in the river. It's just a balloon. That stood out for a mile away though. Red's quite, quite distinctive. Well, I made it down there somehow. It's just sheer cliff, basically. Jumped another river. That's the fourth river I ever had to jump. And now I've got to go back up a cliff. You can see how moss there. Uh, like, I'm literally only like half a kilometer away from the car. But I've got to fucking climb all this nonsense. Up we go. Made it through the valley! The valley of death! Fuck me, that was basically climbing. Back to where we started. That was a good run. Lots of cool stuff. Felt like a proper explorer. 